Hey everyone, this is your trainer from the Electronic Service Division of the Ekrasame County Library. In this segment, I'm going to talk about divide the spreadsheet data into the smaller parts. In this particular example that we have in this worksheet, we have the first name and last name together. This example is uh, given on purpose uh, in a bad way so that we can show you what is the right way to do so. First of all, you wanted to split the first name and last name in two different columns, not in a single column. To be able to split a column, you must not have any cell that is um, merged together. So in this example, we have this first row of data uh, travel expense log sheet, the header is uh, uh, the merged cell across from A1 through uh, e G1. So we do not want that. So I'm simply going to select the entire row number one and I'm going to simply click on the delete button. Now we have the rows of data that has the header row only, that nothing is merged. So I wanted to split the column A into two columns, first name and last name. When I split it, another data will be coming between column A and column B. So I need an empty column before the column B. Again, to insert an empty column, before the column B, you simply have to click the entire column B, first of all, because you are indicating I'm selecting entire column. And if I click on the insert, right here, I am inserting a column before the column B. Let's do one more time again. I'm going to select the entire column B. Then I'm going to simply click on the insert. By doing so, entire blank, column is inserted before the column B. So now your column B become column C and a D and a, so your data is pushed out one more column away. Now we are ready to split this column A. So we're going to select the column A, the one we wanted to split, and we are going to go to the data. Since we wanted to split the data, under the data tab, the function is text to columns in the data tools groups. I'm going to click on text to columns. There are a couple of choices and uh, Excel tells you how many steps you need to finish this and you need three steps. You're, you are in the step one of three. Delimited is characters such as commas or tabs separate each field. So in this situation, we are being uh, you recommended to use a delimited because we have spacing between each word. The fix width is for something that is going to be um, in the same width, such as your telephone number, your zip code, because they are same digits in it. So when this box come up and you are at either delimited or fixed width, Excel would sense the data even before uh, you think about it and which one to choose. So don't even argue with Excel. Just go ahead and accept. Yes, my data is a delimited data and I'm going to select it right there. I'm going to simply click on the next button. Here, what is my delimiter? My delimiter is not the tab. I have a space. So I'm going to uncheck the tab. I'm going to click on space. The minute you do that, you can tell every time Excel see a space, the data next to the space is going to be separated into a second column. It shows the example preview right there. So I'm going to click on next. And my data is either general or text. So I have a general. So I'm going to click on the general. If you have the date, you choose the date. So I'm going to simply click on text. I'm going to click on finish. By doing so, Excel is going to tell me there is already data here. Do you want to replace it? It is just like a precaution in case if we have not have any empty blank column before we split the column A. Since we have that already, I'm going to click on the OK button. By doing so, you have your data split into the two columns. You can simply click on the uh, cell A1 and you can say this is your first name 
and cell B1, your last name column. That is how you would split the data into two columns. Finally, I wanted to show you if you know how to split the data into two columns, you should know how to put it back together. Let's say in column I, I wanted to put the first name and last name back together in the column I. So the putting back the column together or combining the data in a two different cell is a formula. The formula begins with the equal signs. So I'm going to select cell number I2. I'm going to start with the equal sign. There are two different ways to combine the column. Uh, one is uh, the concatenate function. Um, I'm going to show you the easier function by using the ampersand n because it comes uh, to your mind more logically, I'm going to combine cell A2 and cell B2. So that is how simple that is. So after the equation, I'm going to start with my first data is cell A2. Then ampersand, which is shift and number seven on your keyboard. Now, between cell A2, first name, cell B2, last name, you wanted to have a space. A space is not there automatically. You must put it in there. Whatever you wanted to put it in between, you have to put double quote followed by the double quote. So I wanted to put a space in it between. So I'm going to start with the double quote first, shift and double quote. Then I'm going to hit the space bar because I need a space. And my double quote end with a double quote. And that is also going to be combined with the last cell, cell B2. So I need another ampersand in between. Then I'm going to click on cell B2. So I think my formula is done. What I'm here, what I have here is cell A2 and space and cell B2. When I'm done, I'm going to hit enter. I got my cell. So if I go back to the cell, the result is showing the first cell A2 and um, B2 uh, combination. And my formula is telling me A2 and space and B2. Since this is a formula, I could copy the formula all the way down just by pointing to the fill handle, which is the little square at the bottom right. And I'm going to simply double click on that. By doing so, all of those names in the row number three all the way down to the last row appear. If you click on individually, the they copy the cell formula relatively. Again, A2 and B2 becomes A3 and B3. A4 and B4, relatively changing the cell addresses to have all of those first name and last name combined. That is how you would combine the cell data. That is all for this segment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next chapter.